Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing elk. For a long time, elk and red deer were considered the same species. Because of that, some literature still lists them as such. However, more recent evidence suggests that they are separate species. Bull elk nearly double red deer in weight at 700 pounds compared to the red deer's 400 pounds. Bull elk carry their antlers longer than red deer, and elk gestate 20 days more than the red deer. While the two species are able to produce fertile offspring with each other, we will approach this episode as if they are separate. Plus, they sound completely different from one another, but we'll come back to that later on in the video. Another confusing aspect of the elk name comes from the fact that the moose in North America is called the elk in British English, but we discuss that in our moose episode if you want to learn more. Elk live in hilly or mountainous regions with open woodlands, as well as pastures and dense forests. Like many deer, they live in transitional areas. They're native to the Northern Hemisphere and once had a broad range across North America and Asia. That range has diminished today, but reintroduction efforts have increased their populations. For example, these deer were extirpated from the Appalachian Mountains, but wild herds can now be seen there. They've also been introduced to parts of the Southern Hemisphere, such as New Zealand. Elk are some of the largest living deer in the world. They stand four and a half feet tall at the shoulder and weigh anywhere from 500 to over 700 pounds on average. Male elk called bulls sport antlers that can reach six feet across and weigh more than 30 pounds. For reference, an elk calf weighs about 30 pounds at birth, so a bull carries around the weight of his child all winter. Elk antlers begin growing once they reach a year of age. They start to grow towards the end of spring after last year's set has fallen off. When they first grow in, they're soft and velvety. After a few months, this is shed to reveal the hard antlers beneath. Bulls rub their antlers to remove the velvet and sharpen their antlers in the process. The rut, which begins in fall, is the name given to the deer mating season when males compete with each other over females. Though their antlers are imposing, bulls are not typically harmed in these matches. They'll butt heads to show dominance, with the loser walking away in defeat. Male elk also broadcast their status with a loud bugle call. As we mentioned, this sounds far different from the red deer's roar. Here is a red deer. And here is the call of the elk. I've always thought it was somewhat haunting. What do you think? A dominant male will have a harem of a few dozen cows, or female elk, and will mate with each. Female elk will gestate for about 250 days and give birth in late spring. Like bongos, mother elk give birth away from the herd and the calves join them about two weeks later. Outside of the breeding season, male elk form bachelor groups while the females remain together with their young. In some areas, they migrate to warmer places, such as from the top of the mountain to valleys, to ensure they have enough food. Elk primarily eat grasses, but during colder months, when food is more difficult to find, they'll also eat bark, twigs, fruits, and more. In turn, these deer are a food source to cougars, wolves, bears, coyotes, and bobcats. If they can avoid predation, however, they may live to be 18 years old. Elk may also be confused with the similar-looking caribou, or reindeer, but there's one easy way to tell these animals apart. Reindeer, like Santa, have a white beard, or a light-colored neck, while elk have dark necks. For more facts on elk, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, who requested this episode, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to these viewers for today's requests as well, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.